I remember asking God, why have you placed Hannah into my life? I had no idea what role you would play in our story, but I prayed it would last a lifetime. Today, God's answering that prayer. We've gathered this afternoon on behalf of Connor and Hannah to celebrate this special moment. We know that marriage is a gift from God and it gives us a unique opportunity to reflect a deep reality, the reality of Jesus' love for his bride, the church. And this is the love that we're rejoicing in. And this is the love that Connor and Hannah will continually grow into and reflect as they journey through life together. It's important to note that this is not a declaration of your present love. This is a, a binding promise of future love. You're not vowing to love each other now because I've seen that as we've hung out. I can tell you guys love each other, but you're promising to be loving and faithful and true to each other in the future, despite feelings or circumstances. And so if you're prepared to make this serious commitment, would you guys turn to each other and exchange your vows? Hannah, I love you. It is such a blessing to be standing here in front of you today. From the first time I met you, I knew you were special. Um, I was drawn to you from our first conversations, the way we reminisced on our shared childhood experiences, um, the way you joked and picked at me, the way you challenged me and left no difficult questions unasked. Hannah, you possess so many qualities that led to me falling in love with you. First, the way you capture a room when you walk inside of it. You don't do it purposefully, but when you walk in, the lights brighten. Next is your infectious laugh. It brings a big smile to my face anytime I hear it. It's loud and full of joy, and I'm blessed with the privilege to hear it for the rest of my life. Next is your beautiful green eyes. I love those eyes. I look into them and I see you. I see your love for others, your quest for adventure, and your desire for connection. One of our favorite activities is watching the sunset together, being in awe of God's painted canvas and just discussing the various colors. Finally, you truly live life. You don't go through the motions. You live life with a purpose, to help people, to love people like Christ loves us, to enjoy every minute of this precious life. Hannah, you live life in a way we all should, and I'm so glad I have you to show me. You speak life into me. You push me to be the man God calls me to be. You love me unconditionally, and I promise to love you unconditionally for the rest of my life. I'm so excited to begin this journey together. I'm ready to accept the responsibilities of becoming your husband. In Mark 10:45, it is written, for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. As your husband, I promise to serve you, to put your life, well-being, and happiness before mine, to serve you with love, humbleness, and compassion the way Jesus serves us. I promise to always protect you, to lay down my life for you, 
I promise to stay faithful to you in this covenant before God. I promise to always love you, to always cherish you for the rest of our lives. Connor Wall, I am truly blessed to stand beside you today. I know for a fact that you are supposed to be right here and right now sharing this moment with me. I have found a man whom God intended me to find throughout my life's journey and whom I get to share the covenant of marriage with. I have been steered by God to a person who loves me so well. Your servant heart, care for others, teachable soul, and tenderness has led me to fall in love with you just the same. Praise God for knowing exactly what I needed in a lifelong partner before I knew it in myself. You are strong. You are a hard worker. You are so handsome, and one of my favorite things in this world is your smile. I love how we both feel connected in nature, enjoy spending time with loved ones, and how we both want to live a life serving others. Having the same goals and ambitions has made it so much easier leading up to this day. We've always worked better together, which is why this day hasn't come with overwhelming nerves or second thoughts, but instead excitement and joy at the obstacles we get to tackle together from this day forward. You are truly a gift from God, Connor. Accepting this gift, I want to care for you with humility, kindness, gentleness, and patience. I promise to cherish you as the gift that you are. I promise to love you every day I'm blessed to wake up. I promise to forgive you over and over and over again, just as Christ has forgiven me, knowing it's better to grow closer to each other through forgiveness than to grow apart holding on to grudges. I promise to be faithful only to you for the rest of my life. No matter what this world throws at us, I promise to cleave to you. I promise to love you and to work every day strengthening our cohesiveness. Moving forward, my prayer is that these words do not stay stuck on this page, but instead manifest themselves throughout the threads of our future together for as long as we both shall live. I love you, Connor Wall. We have witnessed mm -hmm. the pledging of your love and your commitment to each other. We've seen the sealing of your vows by the giving and receiving of rings. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride.